Howdy gang! Welcome back to AppAbility. Today we're going to look at a communication app called GoTalk Now. So let's take a peek here. So in the first setup page here, this is a fresh install. So I don't have a communication book set up yet, but we're going to take a peek how to do that. We might have to do this app in a couple of installments just because there's so much to it and there's so many different versions that it's hard to uh, give it all to you in less than eight minutes, but we're going to give it a shot. So you can see down here it says default book at the bottom, tap for more. We're going to tap that. And there's a little plus sign up here. This is a good place to become familiar with. You can upload um, to a local server so you can kind of get to it from, it gives you a web address and you get there and you can pull off communication books to share. So good place to know. This is also where you can create a new communication book. So I'm going to press it. I'm going to call it test book. I create that. And I'm just going to click down at the bottom and we're back into test book. So first thing we're going to do is create a page. So I'm going to go into page editor in the middle left. And the default here gives you four buttons that you can create. If you go into the settings button, it looks like a little uh, equalizer, little fader buttons down at the bottom right next to the house. I'm going to tap on that. And you can change your button style here. So 1 to 25. So here's 1. Here's 25. Here's kind of what that looks like. We're going to go back to our 4 and start there. Um, scanning audio auditory cues, you can you can enable that and that'll it, if you're scanning through for those of you that are familiar with communication devices, you can kind of scan through the buttons and it announces what the button does or what it what it will say. I'm going to just leave that disabled for now. And we're not going to make an express page. That's uh, just kind of set. Oh, here we can show you that it actually puts uh, that's a reader bar up top, and you can add build sentences and have it read. I'm going to turn that off for now. If I hit the home button, we go back to the home settings here. So I'm going to go back in the page editor for page one. I'm tapping on the actual word page one now, and I'm going to change that to test page and you can put an auditory cue in there and you can put an icon for the page and change the font right here it's, it's a very versatile program so I clicked on icon I'm gonna get one from the library GoDoc image library which is an additional download free of charge for this app I'm just gonna you can I'll scroll down through here so you can see the image library which is pretty pretty vast. Well, I like lunch is one of my favorite uh, times of the day, so I'm going to put a hamburger sandwich as my... That, that's not very healthy looking. Get something with a little bit of lettuce. Is that a fish sandwich? Very good. So I'm going to click done, and there's our test page. So now to add a button, I'm going to click that the top left button here and you get into these features. So we're, I'm going to, if I tap on the text, I can slide the text around. I want to put it over here in the left hand corner. Click on button text and I'm going to change the text to test button. You can see my theme here. And you can change the color of the text, the font, the size, you can make it bigger. And the cool thing is it previews everything while you're here. So you can put a drop shadow in it. That's a I think that's a new release here. Then we can add an image for, right next to it. So I'm going to do it from the Go Talk library. You can do an internet search. Like I said, very, very versatile. So we had a fish sandwich. So there's a fillet of salmon. That's lovely. So I'm going to pinch this picture a little bit here and spread. When I was, I'm spreading my fingers bigger. It makes the picture bigger. Pinch it smaller. Get smaller. And then if I take two fingers and turn, I can make my fish do all kinds of stuff here. Okay, so border, we can add different borders, green, you know, standard stuff. You can pick your own color here. Then we go to background, 
can make it blue. Um, now I'm going to go up to this action buttons. So uh, TTS is text to speech. I'm going to click on that button, and I can. I'm going to. Have, so you're going to have to do this if you're using it. So make sure you allow it, or you're going to have to go into settings and change that. So you can jump to a page when you get another page set, which is useful. Play something through the media player. Jump to a website. Play a video. And that's a lighting control mechanism that works through Wi-Fi. We don't have that set up yet, but we should probably get that and play with it. And then recorded audio. So I'm going to do recording, recorded audio and play. Hello, this is my test page about salmon. So I'm going to play that. Hello, this is my test page about salmon. So when I'm done with that, I can click on that button. We got it set. After the action, we're, we're going to do nothing. We're just going to stay on that page. We can jump to a specific page after we play it. Go back in your history. Go to the next page if there's a sequence of pages. Plenty of stuff here. But I'm going to hit done for now. So I am in the page editor portion here. So I'm going to hit the home button. And I'm going to go into the player button right in the middle. So there's our page. Here's my test salmon button. Hello, this is my test page about salmon. And if you guys really get get this app, it's a little on the pricey side. Um, there's a bunch of different versions. Uh, I think there's one for $80. It's a bit steep. There is a light version that you can check out first. I would suggest doing that before you shell out the bucks. But it is a robust app and I think it's worth the money. It's certainly a lot cheaper than communication devices go for these days. Thanks for joining us, folks. We'll see you next time on AppAbility.